Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. We are back on three cards, one stamp set collaboration. But this time, instead of using stamp set, we are going to use card kit from my monthly Hero Arts May 2019 kit. And this month, Nancy is going to join us with the collaboration. So this is the stamp and die set from the May card kit. And I'm also going to use one of the stamp and cut add-on from the May release. I did went ahead and colored my images using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Zig Markers are my go-to mediums when coloring small images. I also die cut all of the images that has coordinating dies and fussy cut a few of the images that doesn't come with the dies. And here are all my images. I sorted them out in these dishes. For the first card, I used scraps of watercolor paper and die cut it with uh, the CC Design Scallop Square die set. I'm going to secure the scallop squares with a little bit of tape on the back so when I do the color blending, it's not going to move. The first color I'm using is Abandoned Coral and I'm just blending the color on the paper. And I'm using my paddle brush to blend the color and then spray it with the Distress Resist spray. And I'm going to repeat the process. The next color is Mustard Seed. And just like the first one, I will spray some of this resist spray on the paper and blot the excess with paper towel. After the first two that I did, I temporarily adhere the rest of the squares down on a scratch piece of paper. So I'm not going back and forth with adhering them each time. The other distressed colors I use are Spice Marmalade, Modelon, Broken China, and Wilted Violet. And did the same thing just like the first two squares. After blending the colors on the paper, I spray with Distress Resist and blot the excess with paper towel. For the background, I used this wood grain paper from Miss Sparkle & Co. Uh, paper pack and chose the lighter shade of wood, wood grain paper. I will die cut the paper with the largest die from Juna Marie Design Stitch Rectangle die set. Before we adhere everything together, we need to emboss the sentiment first. So I have a scrap of this dark blue shimmery cardstock and prep the paper with anti-static powder that I made and that tool is just basically paper, uh, baby powder inside the fabric. And then I will stamp the sentiment uh, from the card kit with this small Hero Arts embossing ink that I that is included in the card kit as well. I will emboss the sentiment with Wow Opaque Bright White embossing powder. And now that our sentiment is ready, I'm going to cut them apart with my scissor. And we can adhere everything together. I place the sentiments on the upper left side, middle right side, and lower left side with multi matte medium. I also choose some images that will go on the scallop squares. And finally, adhere the scallop squares on the card with foam tape. I place the squares and not pressing it down yet to make sure it's all perfectly aligned on the card. And then when I'm sure that it's all perfectly aligned and then I can secure and press down the squares on the card. To add shimmer on the images, I use my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. For the inside of the card, I adhere one of the ruler and stamp one of the sentiment that says make stuff be happy from the card kit with Versafine Onyx Block Ink. For the second card, I use Hero Arts Alphabet Soup Bold Prints for my background. 
I will ink up the background stamp with Memento London Fog ink and place my paper on top of the ink stamp and press the paper with scotch piece of paper. I will add some color in the middle of the panel and blend the color wilted violet using my paddle brush. For the shaker part, I need four rulers and I'm going to attach them on each end with glossy accents so they will form a square. And then add double-sided tape adhesive on the back of the rulers. And this tape that I have is perfect size. I think this one is 1 8 inch tear tape. And then I will add the clear acetate after I remove the release paper from the tape. I also added foam tape on the back and I did double up the foam tape so the sequence inside will shake freely. For the sentiment, I use Waffle Flower Sketchy Alpha Stamp Set. I stamp rule on a watercolor paper with Versafine Onyx Black ink and color the letters with Deep Violet and blended the color with the Zig Blender Pen. After I color the letters, I fussy cut them with my detailed scissor and run my memento marker along the white edges so it will look seamless. For the shaker part, I will add gold stars from my stash and also these tiny blue and purple stars from Crafting Desert Divas in the middle where the blended color is. And I'm going to adhere our square ruler on top of the sequence, making sure it's perfectly aligned. I'm going to line my letters on my surface and grab some washi tape and stick it on my skin a few times to remove a little bit of the stickiness so when I remove the washi tape, it doesn't peel off the colors. And then I adhere it on the card with glossy accents. I will add U word beside the letters that we just adhered on the card using Lawn Font Color My World stamp set. You can mask the words if you don't want to cut the stamp, but I thought this way is faster and easier for me and I can put them back together later. And then I will stamp the U uh, word using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And then I will add this panel on my A2 size top folding card base. My panel is 110 pound Recollections cardstock, and I'm just using liquid glue to adhere it on the card. For the inside of the card, I stamp a sentiment from Kindred Stamp Learning is an Adventure stamp set. And I will add some of the images on each side of the sentiment. And then I add some shimmer on the letters and rulers using Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And for our last card for today, I'm starting with watercolor paper. I will do some ink blending using Distress Oxide inks. The first color is Spice Marmalade, Mustard Seed, Mold Lawn, Broken China, and Wilted Violet. I made sure that I cleaned my paddle brush every time I switched colors and went back to the colors that needed more blending. After the blending is done, I will splatter some shimmer on our rainbow background. I will use the this iridescent watercolor ink from Hero Arts, and I think this one came with one of the uh, my older my monthly Hero Arts card kit that I got.
While our background is drying, I will cut this 4 and, four and 1 first by 5 and a half cardstock. I will cut the first one into 2 and 1 fourth, and then the other one will be 1 and 1 fourth inches. I pick some of the images and randomly adhere on the uh, pieces of paper that we cut. I have this long strip of washi tape to help the images tape together so it's easier for me to add the liquid glue on the back of the images. And this way, the positions that you want will be on the same position when you adhere the images on the paper. And then I will remove the washi tape carefully and even though I remove some of the stickiness before I use the washi tape, I want to make sure it's not going to rip some of the colors uh, from my images. and cut the excess that are hanging off the paper. I use my paper trimmer just because, but you can also use your long scissor. And then I will adhere them on our rainbow background. I pull out my stamp perfect here so I can restamp my sentiment and I use one of the sentiment from the card kit that says craftiness is happiness and stamp it in the middle where the rainbow background is and then we're going to adhere this panel on our A2 size top folding card base. For the inside of the card, I stamp another sentiment that I used on the first card and added a spool of thread and heart on each side of the sentiment. And my three cards using one card kit are finished. Make sure to check out what my friends create with their card kit. I will leave links in my description box below. As you can see, I made more than three cards today but the same designs. You can create a lot of card designs and this card kit is worth the money with what you get. Let me know in the comments below which card is your favorite. I hope you like today's cards and as always, thank you so much for always watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.